Greetings, people, uh, watery people from around the world. Welcome to C7. Hey, everyone, uh, all you ocean activists out there. Now is the moment to understand and accept that our old concepts don't work anymore and we are running ourselves against the wall. We've now lost half of our blue natural capital, half of the whales and fish that swam in the ocean when my grandfather first invented scuba diving are gone to us. The ocean is present with us, even when we're living in our cities, we're interconnected with all of this, whether it's the life support that it provides us through the oxygen it creates, or it's the waterways around us that all link through to the ocean. This is gonna be fascinating. We're just getting ourselves warmed up. The ocean to the planet is like blood to the human body. It's the lifeblood of this planet. If we really want to replenish the ocean, we need to protect 30% properly in effective MPAs. If you want to make a difference, you're going to have to make sure that you don't just write about this, but you actually make sure people read about it and act on it. Well, the, the ocean is the superhero in the story. And we can regenerate the Earth's ocean quickly if we blend this indigenous wisdom and, and modern science together. You have to work closely with the individuals who are being impacted. And the only way you can come up with real solutions for these ocean conservation issues is if you engage all the local communities at those early stages. We need politicians to make the right decisions, but it will be a movement of people that force them to do that. What is really key is to get people to understand that this is the decade. You know, it's the decade of hope, it's the decade of change, it's the decade where we can really, really make a difference. Hope is a, a really beautiful, enduring human quality. And I do see all of these pockets of hope, you know, the talk of restoring nature. We can put nature back. And if you do put nature back, then that will help us mitigate the effects of climate change or help bring biodiversity back or help bring back richness and life to the coastal zone. 90% of the heat caused by global warming, human caused right now, has been soaked up by the oceans. That's why we're not living in an inferno, Dan. And so for me, the blue economy has some risks to it because we don't just want to carve it up, divvy it up between fishing and extractives and other industries that want to use the sea. We actually need to decide where we don't go anymore, what we don't use, because we need to give nature back that space. Our emotional well-being is the basis of sustainability. So if we broaden out our ocean story to be a water story, we include 8 billion people. To be an activist is really just to act on something bigger than ourselves, something that we would care passionately about. Um, it's really about defining and designing a new economy. How do we understand success? How do we define leadership or successful leaders? Now is the moment to have new ideas. 